If you need to discuss something about your airbrush with someone, it's useful if we all speak the same language. So today, we're gonna name all the parts so that we're all talking about it in the same way. I'm Warwick from Harder and Steenbeck, and this video is part of our Need to Know Basics series. So very briefly, let's go through the names of the main parts of the airbrush, and I'll talk about not only what we call them as Harder and Steenbeck, but also some of the terms that other airbrush companies use as well, just so that we're clear. So right at the back end here, we have the end piece. That's what we call it. Some other airbrush companies call this the handle. Coming forward from there, we have this part. This is the needle clamping nut or the needle chuck. That's what some people call it. We call it the needle clamping nut. Function of this is to secure the needle to the trigger mechanism so that they move together in sympathy. This is a spring that gives you the spring uh, on the trigger tension when you pull the trigger back that returns it back to its resting position. And that is called, unsurprisingly, the needle spring. Coming a little forward from that is a part that you won't find in all airbrushes, but you'll typically find it in higher end airbrushes. This is the needle tension adjuster or the trigger tension adjuster. What that does is it governs how much tension you have when you pull the trigger back. Some people like it very loose, other people like to have a little bit more resistance when they pull back on the trigger. And this part is what controls that. Coming forward from there, you have this long, thin part, and this is called the needle guide. This is the part that the needle goes through that lines it up through the center of the airbrush and is effectively the needle carriage. So that's called the needle guide. Over here, we have the trigger assembly. Now this does vary quite a bit brand to brand. Uh, on certain of the Asian brands, you'll find there's a little part that sometimes is loose and sometimes isn't. That's little S-shaped thing that sits in between the trigger and the needle carriage. That's typically referred to by them as the auxiliary lever. At Harder and Steenbeck, we have our own version of that, which accomplishes the same task of transferring the motion from the trigger to the needle assembly, but it does it in a subtly different way. And we call it, it's this blue part here, we call that the X center. This is the trigger button right on the top here, and this is the trigger base, and this is what presses down onto the air valve. This part here, again, is something that you won't find on every airbrush. It's right in the middle of the airbrush. And unsurprisingly, we call it the middle piece. Um, and the function of that is really to provide a, uh, a bearing surface for this part, the needle guide, to run in. Some airbrushes have this integrated directly into the body of the airbrush. For example, on our Ultra, this is the case. When we look under the airbrush, we can see the air valve assembly. And this is something worth mentioning here. When we ship our airbrushes, we ship them with this part, which is called the uh, quick disconnect nipple, screwed onto the bottom of the airbrush. Now, you don't need to use a quick disconnect system on your airbrush. If you want to, we supply the tail so that you can uh, interface to that. If you just want to screw it straight onto the hose, you just unscrew that and then you can screw a hose straight directly onto your airbrush. So that's the air valve system, and that is the quick disconnect tail or quick disconnect nipple. Going a little further forward, you have the paint cup lid, the paint cup itself. Some airbrushes, the paint cup is a part of the airbrush. Harder and Steenbeck, we have it so that you can demount it and remount various different sizes of cups. You get a little bit of flexibility there. This main part here is called the airbrush body. The long, thin part that goes right through the middle is referred to as the needle. Coming further forward then, right to the very front of the airbrush, you have the fluid nozzle. People variously call this the tip sometimes. They call it the jet, the nozzle, the fluid nozzle, the paint nozzle, all these names. Tip is very common and nozzle is very common. Further forward here, you have what's known as the air cap. Now the air cap is the part that controls the air distribution around the fluid nozzle. So the air cap is a very critical part as well to keep clean and well maintained as it is the nozzle. And then here we have what's called a needle cap. This is a very unusual needle cap from the Heraldes Infinity. Sometimes you'll see it um, as a, a twin pronged uh, forked item. Sometimes it'll just be a cylinder but either or, it's the thing that is right at the very front of the airbrush and it's there to protect the tip of the needle. I hope you found that helpful. The idea behind it is, is in case you need to speak to anybody about your airbrush, whether it's your buddy or your dealer, now you're able to use terminology that hopefully everybody can understand and you can get what you need real quick. See you on the next video.